you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I've got a lot of exciting plans for this month. Um, it is October, so the expectation would be um, that I'd be making fall clothes, like maybe something with a sleeve, <laughs> but it is still so hot here. We are still getting temperatures, like the real feel with the humidity and everything, triple digits still. So I'm trying to like mentally get myself to a place where I know I will be in a few months um, when the temperatures do drop, I guess, hopefully. So I am planning some fall sewing. I just don't know when I'm going to get to wear it, but there is some exciting stuff. So let's get to it. Um, I kind of have it all stacked up here. All right, so the first thing is this cute little skirt from Simplicity. Um, Simplicity 1717. It's one of their amazing fit skirts, which I love. If you've watched my um, first impression videos on the new patterns, you know I kind of give them some flack about not including um, uh, tailoring for curvier figures like fisheye darts. Um, on sheath dresses or multiple darts on pants or skirts. Um, but this um, Amazing Fit collection tackles that perfectly. You have a slim cut, an average cut, and a curvy cut. Obviously, I'm curvy. Um, and the measurements look really good to, to start. So I'm excited to see how that will come together and what it'll look like. Here's my fabric. I just have a bunch of swatches for you guys today. Um, this is a ponting it but it has this like cotton lace over top of it so it does seem stretchy but that's kind of cut on the bias um because this is the waistband that i've already cut this way there's absolutely no give whatsoever um so it's kind of like a knit that i'm treating like a woven um because it does have so much structure to it i guess whenever they you know uh, fused this lace on top of the ponte. It really did eliminate any stretch that the ponte would have except for on the bias. So yeah, I think that'll be a cute little skirt. Um, I'm picturing this with like, uh, just like a plain white tee tucked in or a button down. If I'm looking for something a little more dressier or even like a chambray button down, I think would be cute. I don't know. I'm not huge into skirts, but I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> um, okay, next up is this fun dress from McCall's um, 7160. I want to make this view here, which you can hardly see from the picture, but it has this really interesting skirt detail where there's like this extra panel there. Um, this would be really great to play up in stripes, which I'm planning on doing. I have this double brushed poly knit in this beautiful olive green. So I could play up the stripes with just this, but I also have in the same colorway, like one that has like wider stripes. Yeah, wider stripes. And then I also have this really cool floral that also matches this. I got all three of them from Cali Fabrics two years ago, maybe three years ago and they're all still in my stash. <laughs> so um, I haven't quite decided how I'm gonna play that up yet, but I am definitely gonna do some kind of contrast in that little skirt panel. I'm also gonna do the three quarter length sleeve so that I'll get this really cute like skater dress style. And I'm hoping it doesn't look like figure skater because that can go figure skater really quickly. Um, but I'm excited to kind of see how that comes together with the pattern matching. I might even do the little stripe and the big stripe. I don't know. I don't know yet, but this is the colorway. It'll be this really pretty olive. So stay tuned for that. McCall 7160. Okay. Now I've got Butterick 6449. I've never made this before, but I'm interested in it because the waistband is a little bit higher. I've really been loving that kind of like on pierre waist lately. I'm a little bit nervous because this looks like, is it trumpet skirt? I think that that's called trumpet skirt. 
Um, so I don't know exactly how it's going to fit a curvy figure, um, seeing as I'm like littler in the waist. So, you know, great. I don't know. I just don't know how figure flattering it's going to be, but I am going to make the one with the short sleeve. So I will have a little sleeve on it. And here's my fabric. Um, this is a scuba knit, I believe, with this really pretty floral huge floral. I mean, look, this is like my hand. So really big floral print, but also has like a lot of open areas too. So I think that that will be really nice out of, um, I made out of that little dress. I'm thinking like, I don't know, kind of ladylike. I'm thinking it's going to come together. I hope it comes out ladylike and not matronly. I don't know. Maybe I should do a circle skirt instead. Oh, I don't know. I want to stick with the pattern and see what I think of it. Butterick 6449. We will see. Yeah. Just going to have to rock the figure flattering wham bams. Okay, so at the same time that I got that green double brush poly, I got this red one. This is the larger stripe that I was telling you about. So I have the larger stripe in the green too, but that's a little stripe and a big stripe together. Um, so I have this and I thought that I would make this number because it does have the stripes. So I would be able to like really play up like the little midriff crisscross detail here with those stripes. I wish I had the little red stripes because I would do the midriff part in the little red stripe and the rest of it in the big red stripe, but all I've got is the big red. So it is what it is. And I don't want to mix the red and the green. That's like way too Christmassy. Um, they're like very Christmassy colors already. So I think mixing them would be not that great, but I'm going to make the one with the short sleeve and the flared skirt. So I am going to do this flared skirt, but the short sleeve here. So it'd be like a combination of, of these two. And like I said, I'm hoping that, you know, with that crisscrossy kind of thing that we'll get like crisscrossy, like um, crisscrossy stripes. I don't know. I have to use a stripe on that, right? I mean, you absolutely have to pick a striped fabric. I don't want to do the contrasting fabric like this one. I think that looks a little bit cummerbund like, but stripes for sure. So I've seen a lot of people make this one on Instagram and it looks great on them. So we will see a seven, five, three, eight, McCall seven, five, three, eight. Okay. I have a lot of plans. Apparently I didn't realize it was this many, I guess because those knit dresses are like super quick to sew up because you just whiz them through your serger. I don't ever do like lining, not ever. I don't wanna speak in exact terms like that, but I rarely do linings with knit dresses. I usually just have the serger seams all on the inside. So they just come together so quickly. So I could probably knock out a dress a day, you know? Plus all of this stuff is coming from my stash. I haven't bought anything new for any of these and I need to get through the stash. It was one of my New Year's resolutions. So I have not fully committed to this, but in the back of my mind, I'm on a buying freeze <laughs> where I'm telling myself I'm not gonna buy any more fabric for the rest of the year and only sew from what I've got, but I'm not committed to that. So don't hold me to it. It's just kind of like floating around back there. Probably until I find something that I love, 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 and I have to have, and then I'll be like, what buying freeze? What are you talking about? Okay, this one is super fun and I'm super excited about it. As soon as I saw it, I immediately ran to, well, I immediately got online to Style Maker Fabrics because I knew that they would have a drapey, flowy, olive green, fabric that would be just like the model picture. I just want to exactly emulate what she's wearing. Like I just want what she has. If I could buy the sample, I would. Um, so I'm going to do that. However, I do think that, um, can you see from the pink one, how there's like that little like trench coat panel thing? 
I do think I want to incorporate that. Um, I can't remember if I have enough fabric to do that or not, but here is the fabric. I don't even remember what it is. It's not a twill, but it definitely has rayon in it. And it's like substantial, but drapey, which is nice. And the color is gorgeous, I think. Um, and then because I'm not sure if I have enough fabric or not, I did pull out this um, from my, um, remember when I was doing the Cotton Cuts fabric subscription box thing? I had, uh, or maybe this came from Art Gallery. I can't remember where this came from now. Um, but I have it in my cotton stash and I think it's like a really cute match. So I might do this for like some certain details that won't show on the outside. So I just have that just in case. But yeah, I'm going to have a lightweight olive kind of flowy trench and also I'm not sure about the length like she's probably 5'10 so I'm probably gonna have to chop a bunch off because I don't know I don't want it to be as long as this you know but this looks good but it looks longer here I don't know we'll have to see um when I get it when I start cutting it out but I'm real excited about this. I think it's going to be a great transitional piece that I'll be able to wear for many, many months um, here in Charleston. Not right now, you know, so, uh, I would say June, July, August, September, and now October probably are not months that I would be able to wear it because it's too hot. But <laughs> hopefully it's going to cool off here shortly and I will get to wear it then. But yeah, I'm excited. I think the fabric's going to be really perfect. Perfect for it. Okay, and then also very exciting. I guess I saved the best for last. So, I was at Joanne, again, maybe a year or so ago, and stumbled upon the doodles section. I think that might be for kids, but I found these pink and blue llamas, <laughs> and I just had to have them, and I knew as soon as I saw them that I would be making the Carolyn pajamas so that I would have, are you putting it together yet? Llama pajamas. I mean, come on, like who doesn't want llama pajamas? So I have been putting off making this simply because I know this is like an in-depth pattern and it does take a little bit of time to get it all together. I'm gonna forego the piping. That's like one extra step that I don't really know. I mean, the llamas are pretty bold as it is. I don't know that I need another detail on top of that. Um, I think it'll look great just sewn without any piping, um, no pocket on the top and the shorts. So I think I'm gonna do the short top and the shorts, this version here. I guess that's B. I don't know. Yeah, B. The shirt and the shorts. Short sleeve, shirt, and shorts. Um, and the fabric itself, I don't know. It's like kind of like a brushed cotton, maybe a flannelly type thing. Um, so it's gonna be warm, it's gonna be cozy, it's gonna feel really nice against the skin, um, nice and soft. So yeah, I guess I'm stash busting in October which is fine. Everyone needs to do that every now and again. If you saw my stash, you would say, yeah, Lindsay, you should do that because I have like this whole thing that behind me, I have another one of those full. And then I also have, um, a, a whole other cube size stack. And then I have, Oh, another one of those same cube size stacks in the closet. Um, and then I have works in progress and you guys know how it is. I don't need to explain it to you, but I am trying to get it under control. If I can truly not buy anything at all in October, November or December, I will get through a bunch of this. Some of the fabrics, I know exactly what I want to make out of them. I knew when I got it and just the seasons changed or something came up or whatever, and I never got to it. Um, so wish me luck on that front. But I am really excited about the ones that I pulled out and the fabrics that I will be sewing. Um, I'm happy to get them out of the stash and into my closet. 
So that's going to do it for me today. Um, let me know what you guys are sewing up in October. I'm sure there are places in the world, in the United States, where the temperatures are in the 50s, 60s, 70s. So you guys might be um, able to wear some of your fall clothes. Let me know um, if you're fall sewing or maybe even already getting ready for winter and sewing coats or holiday outfits or whatever. Um, I do have one other thing that I will be doing that I can't say too much about now. Um, but let's just say it'll be a sew along similar to the Royal Wedding sew along. I don't have a pattern. I don't have fabric, so I can't show you anything. But as soon as all of that comes together, we'll kick off the sew along and you'll find out a lot more about it then. <laughs> How's that? Um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.